Last night I dreamed I was a bottle of ketchup and you a mustard. Which is weird, because usually your manny's my dreams. Well, I suppose that is. Monday, we start off tame. Tuesday, we keep it classy. Wednesday, we let loose a little. Thursday, we start to get restless. Friday, it's time to get nasty. Come along as I go ice skating as a wheelchair user. I went along with my younger sister who is a figure skater, so we went zooming. Here I am attempting to self-propel myself. My arms got tired so quickly. And then we discovered that if I held onto my sister's hands while she skates, we go so fast. We nearly crashed so many times doing this. And then we found it absolutely hilarious that I could skid like this. It was very funny. And then my sister did some of her figure skating moves. I have no idea what they're called. I think that one was an axle. No idea what this one's called. I'm just going to call it a spin. Look, I'm an Olympic level ice skater right here. I can spin too. See? All in all, it was very scary, but fun. Someone just said, you're in the dark. Well, I'll tell you what, Sherlock Holmes, you are unbelievable. Puberty fairy? The fuck did you just call me? The puberty fairy? Puberty fairy? I'm the hormone monster. Knock knock, who's there? Autism. Burn, burn, burn. Where the hoes at? Be by me, baby, be a millionaire. Have a baby by me, baby, be a millionaire. Be a millionaire, be a be a millionaire. Have a baby by me, baby, be a millionaire. Have a baby by me. I got five pieces of candy. I got a chocolate bar. I got a quarter. I got a rock. I don't know. I think it was like a God giving gift to be gay. People are always like, oh, back in my day, there was no autism. Babe, you collect stamps. That's not fucking. What if, and just hear me out for a second, you shut the fuck know that the NHS is not safe for autistic people and people with learning disabilities but there is a new report which confirms this. So this is the full name of the report uh, if you want to search it and read it for yourself in full you can just search Baroness Holland's final report and it should come up it's on the government website. It's a pretty damning report of how autistic people and people with learning disabilities in England are abused by the NHS. I would definitely recommend reading it if you can but I'm going to break down a few key points. So there are five key points on what needs to change in order to improve the care of autistic and learning disabled individuals. So the first point is that solitary confinement does nothing but harm. I think that's kind of obvious, but to healthcare professionals who just lock up autistic and learning disabled individuals, 
I, I guess not so much, so it had to be spelled out for them. So the second point is, further iatrogenic harm is being caused when psychotropic medication is used without therapeutic intention and by the inappropriate use of other restrictive practices, including physical interventions. So we know that these institutions often physically abuse patients as well as over-medicating them in order to sedate them and restrain them. Um, and this report points out that obviously that's not a good idea. I'm going to kind of sum up the rest of the points, but basically they're not taking everyone's individual circumstances into account. They're kind of just saying, oh, they have autism or they have a learning disability. Let's lock them up. They're not really looking at the bigger picture. Um, people are traumatized further by being in inappropriate environments and people are isolated from their support system, so their families and their friends. This report makes 13 recommendations. I'm not going to go through them, but definitely look it up if you're interested. Essentially, this report is saying, hey, uh, autistic people and people with learning disabilities are human, so can you treat them as humans, please? And secondly, your job is to help these people get better. So how about you do that and not abuse them? That's essentially what this report is saying, but, you know, in a more professional way. Um, and here's another problem. Bianca said that Kat likes pretty guys. Are you telling me I'm not a pretty guy? A girl doesn't dye her hair that color unless she has psychological problems. My hair color has nothing to do with my psychological problems. Because I want to fit in. Psycho killer. Again, I'm from my jeweler. I like you, man. You lie a lot. I'm gonna let God fix it. Because if I fix it, I'm going to jail. One thing that I wasn't prepared for when I developed a chronic illness, well, other than the chronic illness, is receiving normal test results. You would think that hearing good news, your test results came back normal would be relieving. But when you have a chronic illness, it's not relieving. You're still going home feeling horrible. And it feels like no one understands you because they're also confused on why you're not happy with that. So if you're someone with a chronic illness or you're just dealing with some crazy mysterious symptoms and you're looking for someone who understands, then this account might be for you. Bye. Welcome to Vegas, baby. I want you to come and pay me. Give me the money, give me time and see me. Ruby, baby, take me on best trip. I want to go shopping. You know, you know. Man, 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 man.